really awesome Jamie Oliver pots and pans. They've got the uh, copper bottoms on them. I've had these about six months, and uh, they're my primary uh, primary set for cooking. And today, my wife made <clears throat> some delicious food, and accidentally left the hamburger and mushroom soup and such in the pot on the running stove for about a half an hour before we caught it and shut it off. I love this set. Um, you can also see there's some tarnish on the copper on that one. Uh, this, this one I've already cleaned the, the tarnish off. So I'm going to show you how I like to clean out my, uh, my pots when they get really bad like this. The first step, I'm going to get her going. Get her going really good. Uh, you can also see the time on the stove here, just because um, you'll see kind of my elapsed time as I, I do each step. So now I've got some, uh, some vinegar, and I am going to boil the vinegar. in there. This is a really cheap, really easy way to get rid of to get rid of the really stubborn burnt grossness that comes in these <coughs> cooking expeditions that my wife does. Um, so I'll just try and go in there. You can see that it's it's pretty caked on there. So once this is boiling, we'll come back and show you the next step. Okay, great, now the uh, vinegar is boiling and it's time for our science experiment. <clears throat> uh, remember doing this in elementary school? Vinegar and baking soda. <laughs> Let's make a mess. Go ahead and pour baking soda in. Ah, uh, yes. Alright, so I added a little too much. In the next clip, I'll show you how to clean the oven. Great, so now that is boiling vinegar and baking soda. And I can just let it keep boiling, and I'm going to start scrubbing the bottom of the pan. There's your timestamp again, how long it's been since the last one. And I'm going to work on the pan here for a little bit and come back when I've got most of the bottom. My supper officially now looks like slop uh, in the bottom of the pan, but you can see after some scraping and working on it, that it's gotten quite a bit out. I will also show you the overflow mess that we're going to try and clean up a little bit later. <clears throat> um, I'm going to go dump this right now. I've now dumped out uh, the contents, uh, the vinegar and the baking soda, and you can see that I got most of the gunk off just using a wooden spoon, some vinegar, some baking soda, and uh, boiling and scrubbing. Um, the next step is my favorite, and uh, I didn't hear about this stuff at first. Most blogs that I read just said use vinegar and baking soda, but I felt that that was still too much elbow grease. I'm lazy. So I found this stuff, Barkeeper's Friend. This stuff is absolutely amazing. It's like magic powder. I'm just going to go and add some in, and because I need to use one hand to film, um, I'm not going to show you the high speed uh, me scrubbing this, but I'll come back after I'm done scrubbing. I'm going to take a quick timestamp at 507. All right, I haven't done the outside of the pot yet, but as you can see on the inside, after some scrubbing, it's starting to look almost like new. And the timestamp is 509. Uh, that actually was only about 60 seconds of scrubbing to get it from where it was. To where it is. Uh, I'm gonna finish it. As promised, here's my finished product. Shiny and new. 
tarnished copper pretty much cleaned off. There's a couple spots that were a little stubborn and I didn't want to spend tons of time on it. Um, I spent a couple more minutes scrubbing. It's now 514. But as you can see, this pot from where it was to where it is, um, it's in pretty good shape. So yes, Barkeeper's Friend to get you that last mile is fantastic. And uh, vinegar and baking soda do wonders for your stubborn dishes. Thanks for